This week we get the return of what I mistakenly said was the pony equivalent of football when it was meant to be the pony equivalent of basketball. And, yeah... This one's actually focused not on the buckball, but on something else. Something we've never seen in a game before, like the previous two episodes that we've seen. But also a little bit of a questionable continuity thing. But I'll ask that once I get to the new episode, so I'll go take a look. Intriguing. Yeah. Interesting that we focus not on the actual game, but instead it's Rainbow Dash focusing on peaching cheerleading, which is something that Rainbow Dash obviously doesn't give two flying rats about. But... At least Rainbow pursued the goal and everything, making it good and not just, yeah, whatever, you're doing well. Definitely feels like one of those, like, sports-centered movies or whatever that was prominent in the 90s and kind of is this year in the 2000s and 2010s and who knows what it'd be in the next decade. But intriguing, we get that. But with everything else that we see out of this, I'm mixed. Yeah, mixed about the whole episode because one is practically I'm not really that much into sports, but I can understand like how hard it is to not only teach a team but also try and perform and memorize a routine for cheerleading. I mean, it goes the same way for acting. Like you gotta know your lines and know where you gotta pose and everything. It's a hard thing, but over time you get used to it, and it only takes like, what, 18 minutes into the episode to, well, if you've seen those types of films in sports, you kind of get the idea, but yeah, I'm I'm just mixed on the episode, and I don't really have much else there is to say about it. But if you're thinking of the episode, but if you, but whatever your thoughts are in the episodes, then hopefully you thought it was decent or whatever. Though I do like to question the whole continuity of it. If in this episode they build the football field in this episode, then how come it's already built in a matter of principles from last season? Or... No, wait. I think I know why it was this... why they're rebuilding it. Yeah, because that really bad episode of MLP basically Starlight basically just obliterates like half the field, so... Kind of the reason why they're rebuilding it. And it's like, that actually kind of makes sense when I now think about it. But really, all that there is to say about it, and see you next week for the all new MLP episode. But first, Let's give a moment of silence to the passing of Rony Khan. They were a legend. Over two years ago, I flew down to the convention, well, 
technically it was the night that I flew down and then I made it to pre-con day to surprise Red Guard. But either way, two years ago I went to BronyCon and that was my one and only slot that I got to see it. But <sighs> moment of silence. That's good enough. But while no other MLP convention could try and beat the likes of BronyCon and everything, it still lives on in some people's memories as a big staple of the MLP fandom. But it doesn't mean it's the end of it. There are other conventions that we still have going. I do want to try and attend, like, some of the other ones, like BabsCon and TriCon, which is a big joke that's been happening in the BronyCon from the very start of it, where to suddenly go to TriCon and go to, uh, go to Runny City. Not the end of it. We still got a few more MLP conventions we're going to. So... It's still a big guarantee I'll still be going to Everfree Northwest in about a year. But either way, look forward to the next Everfree, and hopefully next year I can go to another MLP convention. But I'm taking up too much time, so see you later.